Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking a bit more time to get some more AFK grinds unlocked so that way we can maximize our efficiency during the beginner glue cape grind. I think the only things I really want to get is to finish 99 fire making so that way we don't have to worry about gaining HP XP. I also want to go ahead and get birdhouse runs and seedweed runs set up as well. So in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and knock out a few more quests and get Fossil Island ready to go. Welcome to the All Cape Iron Man. First, before we get started, uh, I did some winter dot kills, not nearly as many as last time. I think I only have like 50 crates or so to go through. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and get them open and see what we get. So let's start. So far, nothing great. I will say I did ac also accidentally open a uh, crate before stream started. Um, there was nothing of value in it. It was just a couple mithril ore and some logs, like some oak logs. I'm pretty sure it was it was not a good crate. Okay, nothing crazy still. At this point, the only thing that I am looking for with these crates is the pet and uh, the dragon axe, which either of those I really think are not very likely. So, so far, my hunch has been correct. We haven't gotten anything. We haven't even gotten like the uh, toad flax or not toad flax, the uh, Torstall or magic seed drop yet. We get plenty of burnt pages though. We like those. Oh, hey, there's the magic seed. Any Torstalls? Keep those in here for a second. Yep, because I knew I was going to get more. Okay, nothing crazy. So let's just go ahead and burn the banana seeds because we don't need these. All right, so what are we doing today? Day. Oh, that's right. We need to immediately start off by getting some agility levels. Also, I rearranged my capes to actually be accurate in the order that I got them. We are going to be here until level 25 thieving, and then I'm going to go and do uh, the Gnome Stronghold quest or the Grand Tree. But yeah, I will say that uh, there is a secondary purpose for doing this as well. Um, I'm going to have to collect these things called Marks of Grace, and they are only gotten by doing rooftop agility courses, which is what this one is. Um, these Marks of Grace are going to be used to purchase an outfit called the Graceful Outfit, and the Graceful Outfit has a cape, and it also has several recolors, and several recolors for the cape. So I'm going to have to get like six Graceful Capes, I think, to account for every single recolor. It's either six or seven capes in order to count for every single graceful cape recolor. So marks of grace are going to be very, very important to collect. So almost all of my agility training that I will be doing is going to be on rooftops. It's also going to be a little bit difficult as well because marks of grace are also used to buy a secondary alchemy agreement called uh, amylase crystals, which are used to make stamina potions. So... Um, there will definitely be a point in this account where I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want Amylase or if I want a cape. There we go. 25 agility. I need to double check with my Shield of Air Elf partner really quick what's going on. And we will start the Black Arm Gang side of this. All right. We're officially part of the Black Arm Gang. The only other time this will become important is Hero's Quest. <laughs> this is really not that long of a quest at all. The longest part is getting another person. Yeah, for real. Big shout outs to Solf here for uh, for Solf Kimbley for being available to do this quest. Really, really appreciate that. All right, here you go, Solf. I am handing you the certificate first. All right, Shield of Arov. Honestly, the biggest reason why you do that quest is for kudos. It helps you get to Fossil Island a lot faster because I forgot that Bone Voyage had a 100 kudos requirement. I All right, boss time. I'm going to try a new safe spot, which is like right here. Go right here. There we go. Oh, nice. They actually has the safe spot marked. They just realized that's cool. That has to be a new addition to the quest uh, plugin. They used to not show the safe spots. I'm so scared. Come on. Kill the demon. I'm so close. Only a little more health left. There's some high octane bossing right now. Let's prayer flick the last hit. Let's go. Oh god, where's the rock? Finding the Draconia rock at the end of this quest is always... <laughs> it always takes so long. Wow, literal last possible route I could have checked. Oh no, never mind. It's still not found. There it is. Okay. I had to search every route and then again. <laughs> okay. 
That was unlucky. What do you mean? I just found it. Okay, there we go. I didn't hold spacebar long enough. <laughs> All right, and now we get a nice XP drop. Woo, what does this put me at? 31 agility, so we've just skipped the rest of the uh, Alcarid agility course, thank God. Uh, 44 attack, which is nice. 36 magic is also very nice. While I am here, I should go and get uh, Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl started. That's gonna be kind of important to do. All right, and I have officially started Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl. I have to hit every single one of these ends. But for right now, I need to do, next on the list is Doric's quest. One down and uh, to go. All right, and that's that quest done. That's really a quest that you could just complete instantly if you have the, all the items right away. That is done. Uh, recipe for disaster. I need, oh, I need a lot more than I thought. Or where do we get Green Man's Ale? Uh, Green Man's Ale, there you are. Wait, this guy sells a pink cloak. Oh, hey, new cape. Let's go. The Fremenic Pink Cloak. Okay, that's awesome. I love unexpected capes. I always love just opening up a random shop and seeing a cape I never expected. It's my favorite thing about this account, in all honesty. <laughs> it's like that yellow cape that I found. I was just completely unexpected. I did not I did not realize that he sold a cloak. The cape tab's looking nice. I'm liking the way this cape tab is looking. All right, fashion show, let's go. Beautiful, loving the blue, or er, sorry, loving the orange. I, I can't, uh, the colors in my brain are breaking down. Ah, I have blue armor, just take it. All right, all right, let's let's put on, put on this new armor. What a nice orange. <laughs> Honestly, I do like the blue armor a lot. The blue armor looks nice. Prison outfit orange, nice. Oh my God, you're right. It totally is a prison jumpsuit. <laughs> All right, Gobble of Diplomacy done. Time to do RFD. All right, and there we go. I also love how, like, canonically people get out of this, like, horrible event that's about to happen because they get teleported out by random events. Wait, hold on. I need to get iron bars. Oh, that's unfortunate. There's only one good way I know of getting iron bars right now. I gotta take a real quick 10 minute break. I'm gonna get some water, get some, uh, get some things that I need. I'm also going to very sneakily sneak my way into the wilderness and grab myself some bars, but don't tell nobody, shush. I just gotta get the iron bars really, really fast, and I'm gonna be hopping worlds like crazy to make sure that I get them. I have news. We have the iron bars. <laughs> okay, let's hope that I don't get absolutely clowned on by the ice giants and ice knights. That's why I brought salmon. Worst case scenario, we got the Chronicle over here as my left left click teleport. We'll be okay. Oh, here we go. Let's just mine this rock. Let's go. This is like the safest rock out here. I might just stand and wait till this rock respawns. I got the thing I need. I just want to get one more blue right for the diary. How long does this take to respawn? It can't be that long. Uh, I thought that ice giant was about to walk right over to me start to throw down a hey, nice did not take long at all again i very much over prepared for this but much rather be over prepared than under prepared all right and there we go that's level 29 smithing right out the gate god such an overpowered that's such an overpowered quest so let's go ahead and head up through our doing there is a pub here right yeah a flying horse in that's where Two Pints is. And then Blurberry's Bar. And then while I'm up there, I need to buy oranges. And then the, uh, this one, this one, and then the, uh, Sears Village one. That'll take care of those. And then the two Varric ones I'll get on my own time. The only ones that are, like, actually out of the way, I think, are the Yanel one and the, uh, Musa Point one. Everything else is kind of easy to get and even then i can combo brimhaven and musa point actually i think if i have to go back to port serum that might be what i do is just go to brimhaven then walk from brimhaven to musa point and then head back what's this quest this is merlin's crystal merlin is stuck in a crystal that's at the top of this castle 
So I literally have to get Excalibur in order for me to break the crystal. Why does King Arthur not have Excalibur right now? I don't know. But either way, I'm going to be Excalibur, and so therefore I'm going to be the true ruler of England as soon as I get there. <laughs> England's a little far away in this game. It is canonical, though. These The King Arthur said that they came from England. So England is in this universe. We just don't know where. I don't know what his max hit is, but I don't think I'm going to be finding out. I don't like that. I don't like how much damage you just did right there. Do a little more damage, please. Not you, Mordred, me. Okay, this should allow me to really quickly advance this. Good, 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 good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I will do all that. One more bar left, and then we are done with Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl which is really only useful for one thing, and that is Scorpion Catcher. Otherwise, we really didn't need it. <laughs> all right, and that is all of Alfred Grimhand's bar crawl done. How long have you been playing? Uh, in general, I've been playing RuneScape for about 15 years. Um, this account is about three weeks old. I've been playing for a little bit over two days on this total. And then I have an Iron Man account that I normally play on before this account. Uh, that has about 2,500 hours in it. Now, I will say with my veteran status, I didn't start trying to get good at this game until I started my Iron Man. So, uh, my skill definitely is not 15 years. I do have a very large amount of knowledge on this game for very useless things, but not quite that good. Oh, I need to do it with this weapon. Yay! Hi, Merlin. No, it started out trying to be good. 2004 was your start. Be considered 2016 your real beginning. I think I got in... It was right before the Grand Exchange. I want to say it was 2006 or 2007. I can't remember specifically when, though. Honestly, I think we're good. I think we're going to go ahead and get started here. So let's go ahead and see what is in these crates. Uh, so far, nothing super good. Burn pages are always nice. Not getting too much, that's okay. Burnt pages are always nice, but I'm curious to see if I'm going to get any other unique items. I haven't even gotten like a magic seed or a torstall yet. Oh my god, I got another tome of fire. <laughs> Alright, so I got two tomes on this account. <laughs> Oh my god, that's that's fantastic. There's some burn pages right there if I need them. <laughs> that's ridiculously lucky. Good, magic seed, let's go. Two magic seeds. Okay, well, we got another Tome of Fire. Let's go. Not exactly going to be needed for a while, but very funny that I have it. Let's go ahead and try again at the Rune Scimitar. I do want to... Did I already get the Mind Runes I needed? Yes, I did. Fantastic. Temporos? I actually was thinking about unlocking Temporos tonight. I'd be down to do that. Well, level fishing am I? Level 28? Yeah. Yeah, we can, we can go ahead and push for Temporos. I'm actually kind of thinking about that. That seems like it'd be a good idea. I was playing around with the idea of unlocking Guardians of the Rift. I also am thinking of like doing Bone Voyage and unlocking Birdhouse runs. I, I think I think this might be a good day to unlock a lot of the more AFK background grinds. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's unlock Temporos tonight. I like that idea. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm into it. We'll unlock Temporos tonight, meaning that we need to do Jungle Potion and Shiloh Village first, so that way we can unlock the best uh, spot to... Yeah, I'll unlock the best fishing spot for fly fishing, and then we'll just camp there to level 35. It really should not take that long. All right, so we got to 50 KC last time. Is KC 51. How many kills are we until level 30? So 13 kills to level 13 HP. So we're just going to send that until we hit level 30 HP. And then at that point, we'll go ahead and move on. I should have kind of seen it go. Hey, there we go. There's the Rune Scimitar. Let's go. We didn't even get a level from that. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, now we have our best in slot melee weapon. And uh, yeah, we're doing it. We're in a fantastic spot. Can we get a backstory on my name? 
Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's not really much backstory, in all honesty. Um, I... It, it, it was created because I needed to create my first RuneScape account, and uh, my buddy who introduced me to the game uh, was helping me figure out a good name for it. And so I initially thought, well, I, I like video games a lot and i'm a little bit of a freak so i'll do i'll do video game freak and i was this was when i was like eight or nine it, i was super young when this conversation was happening it's so like i'll do video game freak but it was too long for uh so we shortened it down to video freak and that was taken so we ended up adding some numbers on the end um but over the years video freak eventually became available and i was able to snag it but yeah, Video Freak is the first ever username I ever created just because I needed an account name to play RuneScape and that was the first thing that came to mind. <laughs> Not so much forbidden lore, it's just uh eight year old me had a good idea and uh and it still sticks. I really like the name Video Freak in all honesty. I'm I am biased because <laughs> it's my name. But um yeah, I feel like I feel like that was a pretty good name I happened to uh, stumble into. What does that put me at? Level 9 Herblore? Wow, that's nice. Alright, so level 9 Herblore, that's done. Am I able to do Shiloh Village right away? Oh, it needs level 32 agility. Well, looks like we're gonna send her a couple really quick laps at the Varrock course. So now we have the level. Where's Shiloh Village? There you are. Okay, what do we need for this quest? We need a spade, a lit torch or candle. Uh, I was gonna say, does a broom torch count? But I have a regular torch, so we're okay. Bronze wire. I have to smith that, I think. Do I have any bronze? I don't. Okay, that won't be very long. I can, I just need to grab some copper and tin and smelt it up. Um, where's the nearest, like, furnace to a mine? I mean, I could just get the copper tin here and then... I don't know where I'd smelt it here is the issue. I'll just get the bronze bar and I'll figure it out later. I forgot to bring an anti-poison. Oh, that's big poison damage, too. Okay, we're gonna abort mission really quick and we're gonna get some anti-poison. I completely forgot about that. Oh, that's so much damage. God, that ant that poison does not mess around. That does 11 points. Saying, search the gallows. Okay, please just, please stop. Please stop. Just get stuck, please. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Now I can search. Come on, let me in. Ah. Uh, let me in. Come on, let me in! Come on! Sounds like Max would hit here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there we go, finally got in. That thing can't attack me, right? Oh, it can. It absolutely is aggroed on me. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well, good thing I am not in a place that it can hit me. Okay, we're gonna right click, search the doors. We're going to do this. Now we have a bone key. Ah! Stay away from me, evil lion. Enter hillside entrance. Okay. Really? This is right next to all that? Oh, oh, beads are dead, beads are dead, beads are dead. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's just get out of here, let's get out of here. Oh, that was scary. I completely forgot about the beads of the dead part. Okay. We are okay. We are fine. Just, just a little bit. Ha! Huh. Heart's racing just a little bit, but we're fine. We're good. Nothing happened. We're okay. <laughs> I should be in a good spot here. I have enough run energy. Okay. Hit this. Step away from the dolmen. Where's it coming from? There it is. Ha! Okay, just get around it. Ha! Okay, that's fine. That'll work. <laughs> These safe spot markers do not feel very safe. It's gonna throw that out here. Okay. 
There's the first form. Where's the second form? Okay, there it is. Now we're gonna go here. Hey, level up, let's go. Man, this guy's... This guy's got some badass fashion scape. I'm pretty sure that Nazdrul can't attack me. Oh, he can attack me! Why? That was unexpected. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's get around it. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind this rocks here. Or rock here. Okay. Take the corpse. Alright, cool. Okay. Uh, is that all I needed? Okay, yeah, I just need to go back to Karen Island. Huh. Wow. I did not expect that his boss would start attacking me. <laughs> Seems like a little bit of a flaw. Hey, nice. Welcome back. Welcome back. What you got to eat? Can I have some? I wonder if that guy realized that he almost PK'd me. Because he 100% did almost kill me. Hey, there we go. Shiloh Village done. We now have access to the single best spot to train fishing. So let's go ahead and knock out 35 fishing and get started on Temporos. If this seems like this is going to take like a significant amount of time, I'll just save this grind for, uh, for off stream and I will do something else. Because I do still kind of want to do Bone Voyage today. So uh, if this looks like this is going to take a while, then I'll go do Dig Site and, uh, and start that questing process. Yeah, this is going to take a while, isn't it? Okay. So we'll plan on doing something else then. Um, what do I need for the dig site? Can I do that right now? I cannot. I need 10 herb lore. Um, I have nine herb lore with 34 XP less. So that's like what? One attack potion, maybe two? That's easy, I have that banked. Okay, and then what about bone voyage? Oh yeah, I just need dig site. Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, this will be easy. Yeah, this game's fun without friends. That's why I play an Iron Man. You don't need friends on an Iron Man. Do I take blood? Do I take bond donations? I don't know why I read that as a blood donation at first. <laughs> uh, yes to blood donations, no to bonds. Uh, or I don't know. I haven't decided yet. If if you're really down to give me a bond, I guess I won't say no. But I. Uh, I also don't want you to waste your gold if I happen to die early, so... Blood for the blood god! <laughs> what a- what a slip. What a slip that was. Are you only gonna continue this series as a hardcore? I don't know yet. The way that I was thinking about this account when I first made it is that... I do want it to stay as a hardcore the entire time. But I, I've seen multiple people state that they would prefer me stay as an iron and just continue to get all capes if this account dies. So I I think what I am going to do when this account dies is that I'm going to run a poll and I'm going to leave it up to the community on whether or not I continue it as a regular Iron Man or if I, re or if I uh, remake the account. Nice. That is a big quest to get done. Okay, can I do Bone Voyage immediately? I can. But I need some kudos, so we are gonna... Or we're gonna do the dig site stuff in the museum uh, to get the rest of the kudos. So that won't take long. I think we're... Yeah, let's go! Got the dig site pendant. Come on, go back. Wait, am I going the wrong direction? Wait, hold on. What's going on here? I'm going the wrong direction, aren't I? Come on. Okay. That seemed to fix it, kind of. Come on, keep going, keep going. Wait, hold on. I need to steer right. There it is. Okay, I'm stupid. Okay, let's try it again. Keep the arrow pointing north. Yeah, I know. I just got the wrong uh, arrows on the bottom. Okay. Just make it there. Come on, please. Come on. Come on, right yourself. I'm literally going in the correct direction. There's no further that I can go. Come on! Turn to the direction! Turn the right direction, please! Okay, there we go. Sometimes it really feels like this thing down here does absolutely nothing. Come on. Come on. Just get me there. Thank you. Holy crap. Okay. Made the Fossil Island. That was... frustrating. <laughs> All right, 
And with that, we are all set to go for the night. We have finished a lot of stuff. We've gotten Temporos, or not Temporos, we've gotten Shiloh Village unlocked so we can start working on uh, getting 35 fishing AFK. Uh, we've gotten Bone Voyage done and Fossil Island unlocked so we can get Birdhouse runs done quickly as possible. I think the only last like big AFK grind that I want to get set up is going to be Guardians of the Rift. But yeah, we are we are very set on content and in a very very good spot on the account. So we're about to start just zooming through some levels here. But with that, I do want to thank everybody so much for coming by and watching. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much for for sticking with me in stream. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, I highly recommend doing so. You'll be notified when I go live. Join my Discord and have a great rest of your night.